my segment I am dyslexic role player 94 I am one of the knights on TLC and this is a Naruto game that I would like for all of you to hopefully enjoy now as you can see it's pretty much just like Naruto where you have people that are do different uh, jutsus there's the genjutsu which I am on right now there's taijutsu and then ninjutsu I am for you guys going to make a different account I have a ninjutsu person uh, can't really remember the name of the character or what level she is on but I think for this one for you guys I will uh, play a, a genjutsu person now it says younger sister um, I can't really say the name family twin very talented loves to study secret techniques now I have to put in a name I will go with my username that is listed on this fun joy thing. Then I hit confirm. And so this is the beginning of our new journey. So we start. Now what I like to do is go through over here once all this is done to make sure that all the people that you see on here are not blocking the screen so we go oh, that's the wrong one this is where your friend lists are and you can blacklist people you go to show and hide and that's where all the people that are were over here are gone you click on this person which is your character and you can receive stuff which is gold or silver and then ability points which you'll see later on now some of these I have not done for a while I haven't updated anything again this is a new account so not everything I know about this and sorry if it's running a little slow my computer kinda doesn't handle video games very well but I will try my best for you guys pardon me while I cough for a minute now we wait for it to load and we get to pick missions now later down uh, down the road we'll be able to pick characters that can help us now it does take place in the Naruto universe and it will have us fight people like Orochimaru, uh, Kimimaru, and Gara, and so on and so forth but you can also get like the bad guys from Naruto and whatnot. Now this is our first mission and fight. And you really don't have to do anything. You just watch the fight and see if you win or not. And then later you also get jutsus later on, which I'm not really familiar with the genjutsu. I'm familiar with the ninjutsu. One of them is wolves. So now we get to watch and see if my, my character won, and she did. So you get XP and then silver. And then you get to pick something later, like right here. You get to see, pick which one, and then you click it, and then it'll give you XP and then silver as well. So, and you can always click here, which is an automatic go to this quest. So you click complete every time. And then you take another quest and then you go and it's pretty much running back and forth oh, not all the time but most of the time and then later on once you get higher levels and whatnot you can try and grind certain things Now mission two. It's basically a lot of 
running back and forth, like I said. It's also doing a lot of missions and reading text. So now you see we get to fight Itachi and Kisame. And I don't remember if Kakashi helps us or not. I don't think he does. But I could be wrong. I'm sorry if you hear the fan running of my computer. It, it's, I don't know why it gets really loud at some points. I guess because I probably have it on something that it shouldn't be on while I'm playing this game. And sometimes I have to do, like, wiggle the, the mouse because it freezes like it is now. And if you hear meowing, I'm sorry, that's my cat, and she's very annoying sometimes, but I love her. Her there. Oh, Kakashi and uh, the Hokage help you. Like I said, I haven't played this game for a while, so I'm sorry if I forget some things. It is, uh, you do get prizes for doing stuff daily. That's a big shark. So, now... Oops. Now we just wait. Sorry. So we won again. We get to pick our prize. And uh, let's go with this one this time. Okay. And you can click that again to, uh, to leave the prize area, I guess you can call it. Now, you'll get to have equipment with you. So, with that, you would go. I'm going to stop for a minute. You go to your bag, and you'd find things like I can open up this gift once I'm level 10. And now it's telling me to click this check-in thing. So now we click it, and we click sign in. We get. We have one more until we get Hinata, who it will be part of our little. Uh, friendship uh, team thing. Not really sure what to call it. So now we talk to Iruka. And we get all these things. So now we can click that. And so we click it. Click it. And then now it's up here. And you can get uh, like not really weapons, but you can get armor, shoes, head, cloak, belt, what, yeah, all that stuff. Um, later on we will be getting kind of a Nine Tails Beast thing to follow us. That's not what I wanted, sorry. So we click that one, and then we kind of slowly run over to where Kakashi is. You do get to talk to the Naruto characters, which is nice, but it's not really you influencing anything. So now we click that and as you saw we can get Iruka after this mission if we win. Now from what I can see the beginning missions are very very easy they're not that difficult and if if you have party members with you this is a cool part and your character dies, but your party member wins the battle, you will win that battle. So, Iruka is in front of lines. He is, like, your blocker, and you're an attacker. There's, uh, you have three spots up here for 
your blockers, you got three spots for your attackers, and then you got three spots for like your medical people. So then we hit go this click that again so that you can run all the way up to the peoples that are waiting to fight you again. Now some of these NPC characters like this are are all designed the same, but they're not they're not really anything special. You like I said, you do get to fight the some normal Naruto cast members. Do do do. And there we go. So now we go to where Iroka is, and I believe he you get him. Like, he gives you himself. See, we get Iruka, level 1. So, we get to... He's a... That word. I'm sorry if I can't say some words, but yeah. Again, he's like your blocker. And so, you get to... Format where people go. So, oh, I lied. Sorry. Ir there's only one spot for a blocker, three for attackers, and three for support. So, we drag Aruka there, and then we click exit, and then we go to Kakashi again. It like, tomorrow, I will get, I would be able to get Hinata, who is, I believe, another blocker. I can't be positive, but I believe she's another blocker. She's, I think, better than Aruka. And so, it will be nice to have her on our team. On my other account, I have uh, Zabuza and Sasuke on my attacking with me. And I forget who my blocker is. Now, I could turn on the sound for you guys, but it's very loud and... Pro you probably won't be able to hear me. Also, I'd like to indicate, you see the names on above each character, except for these guys, like your team? Your color will change as you get higher up. Your team members won't unless you, like, get higher level team members. We click. And then we hit this one again. Here, I'll let you guys listen to the music. And there you guys go. That is what the music sound lo sounds like. It's pretty much just right out of Naruto. I think this will be our last mission for today. I will let you guys watch this mission and then I will end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed my little let's play of this Naruto game. So now we got more stuff. And so we can click it, and then we have to stop so we can put our equipment on us. And you can click, you can equip, like, Iruka with your things as well, 
which is always important because you need your party members to have everything. Later on you can like level up the stuff that you have. Like you can get accessories, which is very new to me. And all that. So we click this again. And this is chapter 5. Chapter 5 is like all the others. You fight mooks and you win. And then you get cool stuff at the end. And yes, this do game does get a little boring if you're sitting here just watching you win like five fights in a row and whatnot. It, but it is fun if you need something to pass the time. And if you're bored and you like Naruto games. I randomly discovered this game. I think I was on either. I was on Gaia Online. And. I uh, I just saw this something for Naruto, and I wasn't sure what it was, and so I it linked me to this pretty much MMO RPG. And for those of you who don't know what an MMO RPG is, it is a multiplayer game for everyone that has a computer or whatever system they are the game is with to play, and you can make friends from all over. Also, I forgot to mention that this this little area here is pretty much your little chat box thing. I can like click all the little functions. I can go to like world or whisper. It, but what I like to do normally when I'm playing is like close that because I don't like to be distracted by the chat box that is right there. I'd rather watch what my people are doing and to see if I'm winning if I'm not being distracted by something else so now we go to the right and one last time we will go talk to whoever gave us this mission and then we are done also for these episodes I will have my uh, safari screen a lot bigger than it normally is when I'm on the internet. I hope you guys don't mind that because I personally whenever I'm playing this it uh how it looks it looks wonky when it is uh, downgraded to something like this but since this is the end of the episode you guys don't have to worry about seeing that until next time when I end the episode so I hope you all have a good night or a good day, and I will talk to you guys again. Mm -hmm.